Okay, so today we have yet another disgusting A1278 that is liquid damaged. So this one's a little bit more concerning because for one I see corrosion by the um, the uh, buck controller for the CPU. Now that is not good. If there's corrosion on the buck converter of the CPU, there's a good chance that it got 12 volts. But this is a sandy bridge, so it should, should have been able to take 12 volts and not die because it's better than Haswell. So let's take the board out and have a look under the microscope, and I'm probably going to dump this one in the ultrasonic first, just like I did the other one, just because it's fairly nasty, and I want to get a good idea of how it is, what's bad, and not after ultrasonic. This will need a new screen, as well. And this is a 2011. That was my own notification coming to me, but probably not going to half the other people that are watching this. Um, T6. Hmm. I thought I had a screw holder for this, but I guess not. So this one should work. No. You only had one screw with you, I remember. I only had one bottom case screw, so I thought... Hmm. That's sad. Here's one, though. Frost burn is here. I'm assuming you didn't give up on the live feed. Why would I give up on live feed? I don't, don't remember ever talking about that. I don't really like the live stream sometimes and people tell me what to do and try and act like they're they're better and no more and try and diagnose the board and try and find a problem that's not there when I'm the one in front of it, but otherwise I still do them. Why? What the heck? There we go. The screwdriver's annoying. I don't like it at all. So you're still liking the new ultrasonic? Yes, the Crest is actually very good after using it for a few days. It cleans every bit as good as the Sharper Tech and maybe actually a little bit more. It's pretty it seems actually a little bit more powerful than the Sharper Tech. It um Here's one thing about ultrasonics is you can't really measure you can have an ultrasonic that doesn't even disturb the water that cleans excellent, then you could have one that splashes the water like crazy and um doesn't clean good. Well the crest Splashes up that water pretty darn good. Has three transducers, so. Oh, wow. That's lovely, isn't it? I wonder what kind of animal died in this, this computer. Not content.
contact cleaner, air duster is what I want. The past week I've only had two walk-ins. That's better than me because I barely get any walk-in. All my stuff is mail-in. I'm exhausted, but there's MacBooks to fix. So this side doesn't look too bad except around the edge there's corrosion and dust and this. We can't really tell what it is because it's all covered in gunk. This edge of the board looks pretty bad. SMC area. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to flux this then ultrasonic because I want to you know, rejuvenate those connections a little bit. And then we'll get an idea of what needs to be replaced and what doesn't need to be replaced. But the ultrasonic before doesn't hurt just to give you an idea, you know. Because sometimes stuff can look really bad before ultra ultrasonic and then look fine after ultrasonic. Now, if you don't know what you're doing, do not do this. This, you know, if you don't know, if you're not using your brain to fix boards, just the ultrasonic, don't even think of this method. Don't do it. Um, but this is for people that know what they're doing, that know where the corrosion is, that want to just look at it a little bit better before jumping on what's wrong. So that's what this is. As long as an L doesn't show up, this should be fixable. Where is the old flux? I want to use this old flux before using all my good stuff up. This is still going to need a lot of rebuilding and replacing, but at least after we flux it, we'll have a better idea of what Flux and ultrasonic will have a better idea of what's actually needs to be done and what doesn't. A little corrosion on a resistor or something is no need to, um, you know, replace anything really. I think I'm going to cry if I get another one of these A1278s that are corroded like this.
the funny thing is, after all this flux and stuff, this is probably going to work. I'm getting lazier. Now that everything is melted good. Move in at higher air. Gross. I got flux all over my hand. I hate flux. It's one of the most uncomfortable things to get on your skin. It's like sticky and irritating. It's terrible. Move up over here to the firewire area. Oh wow, up here too. So we know we have corrosion over here too near the audio IC. Corrosion over near the USB area. Pretty much corrosion everywhere. But see, a majority of this stuff is probably fine, and that's the thing. If stuff is corroded, then, like, bad, I'm not going to leave it. Even if it works, I'll replace it. But if the ends aren't damaged or anything, then there's really no need to. I mean, if the pins aren't damaged... Okay, let's throw this in the cleaner so we could kind of get a better idea of what's lousy and what's not. guess we could kind of get rid of that now, but I kind of want to get lucky and have it work. I just want to be able to replace like the CPU IC, I mean the CPU buck converter IC, like the Thunderbolt area. Now we wait, four minutes aside. And I don't do anything in these four minutes. I will sit here doing nothing. Yes, very boring. So I just got this. This is a Blackberry Key 1. Okay, call me crazy, but this thing is excellent. This is one of the best phones I've ever used, if not the best. Um, the overall user interface, the keyboard is excel excellent, the screen is excellent, um, it's just, it's an all-around excellent device. The camera is absolutely excellent. I think it's the same sensor using the, the uh, Google Pixel, but yeah, this this thing is nice. I, I like this much better than what I used to use. Did you get your power shut off? No. Yeah, this thing kills. Battery life is good as well, so.
I feel like I'm going to sneeze, but I don't want to sneeze. I hate that feeling. Aaron, it is and isn't BlackBerry. This particular one was designed by BlackBerry, but manu man manufactured by TCL. The new ones are manufactured by TCL. But there's no trade-off in quality. I mean, this thing is solid. And one really stupid thing I did, so the SIM tray is right here, right? I didn't know the SIM tray had the SD card and the SIM on the same tray. So I'm th I put the SD card in, right? And I'm thinking that the SIM tray is up here. There's a hole up here, right? So look at this. There's a hole up at the top. Right? So what I did, and so here's the SD card and SIM tray. I put the tool up here and I kept poking it in there trying to get this top part to pop out. See that how it's like, like I thought that whole thing popped out. Well, that's the microphone. So I was poking uh, the tweezers in the microphone. It didn't hurt it, but still, it probably wasn't that good for it. But I thought that was funny. This is what I would mean when people say I'm smart. I'm not smart. You know, I'm literally poking a sharp tool into the microphone of my own phone because I don't know where the darn sim, sim tray is. That's, that's me for you. No, if Apple chargers have schematics, I could not find one. No, but Apple chargers are like 80 bucks. So, a Apple probably doesn't even make the charger. It just—it's literally just an 18 volt power supply. That's it. It's just an 18 volt power supply. There's nothing special about it. The special part is the MagSafe jack. It's just two wires going to this, so it's n literally nothing special. You can get an 18 volt power supply and put wires on it and plug it in a MagSafe end, and it'll work. Uh, great, and Nell is here. So this board had a corroded um, U7400. Watch the CPU be dead because Nell entered the chat. This picture right here sums it up. Two minutes left.
And now your message just that from 40 minutes ago just came through right now. Bore me to sleep. I'm trying to sleep. Well, guess what? You came to the right place because I'm a very boring person. Lucky for you. Anthony Jabari is here. This is a screw holder that probably came from a MacBook Air. It's one of those like CPU grommets. So I wonder whose computer that came from. Tim is sleepy. Tim is very sleepy, as you can tell. Can you always stream at this time? No, because I'll be half asleep, like I am now. That board should be almost ready. Heaters off. Dip in the distilled water to clean most of it off. And I want this to dry quick, so what I'm going to do is also douse it in isopropanol so it'll burn off the water a lot quicker or get rid of the water a lot quicker compared to if I didn't. Especially near that CPU and PCH. There now. This board should dry very quick. I'm like immune to alcohol bothering me in cuts. I really need... The keys just fell off my keyboard. Are you kidding me? This keyboard lasted a long time. Where does this stuff go? Star. I have no idea. I know it goes somewhere. Okay, I don't care about star or... Uh, oh wait, so this goes here. My keyboard falls all the time. It usually takes several falls before the stuff starts falling off, but... There's one. There's two. And this one should be... Audio. Go in there. There you go. Okay. Microscope. So let's look at this board after ultrasonic. And cleaning. Notice how it looks much better now. It looks like less angry. It looks almost fine. It's not fine, but it looks a lot better. See how it turned that nastiness into something that wasn't bad? See, a majority of those caps and stuff can stay on. They're not bad. We're not, a, we're not Apple refurb, so we'll actually replace the stuff that looks bad. We're not just going to ultrasonic it like Apple refurb centers and send it off.
This will probably work. Can't make it back home because the 5 is closed and the 2N. I'm guessing you mean 210. Is the 14 still closed? Because I know. Um, I know uh, the 14 was closed earlier and that's delaying a lot of my packages that are supposed to be coming here, but they can't get here because they go to the Pacoima FedEx Ground Hub. And in order to get to Palmdale, they have to go over the 14 freeway. Okay, so we had some sticky liquid under the PCH. That may be a problem, but this... So here's the thing. Oh, and that's where that one uh, screw hole went that I threw, of course. The thing I threw it came off the board, and it's actually important. So whenever you get stuff like this that's sticky, okay, this is probably going to affect PCH function. It may or may not. It is okay to take the edge bonding off, put flux around it, and heat it very gently at a low temperature, like 200... 50 Celsius maximum from the bottom. Do not heat on top. If you're going to do this, put flux around it, heat it from the bottom, 250 top Celsius for like 30 seconds. Until you start seeing the flux boiling, that's all you want to. You do not want to reflow it completely because you will kill it. That's useful if you have corrosion under it that the ultrasonic won't get. Um, but we're going to go ahead and test this in a second. We have to dry it off, but we could see it's much, much better compared to how it was. Like Thunderbolt, we'll get rid of this guy. The caps honestly can probably stay. Those really do not look bad. Um, they're a little bit oxidized, but they do not look bad. The backlight driver, as always, has oh, as always has to go. Um, but yeah, this doesn't look too bad. This chip, if it, I'll replace this. So. I'll probably replace this anyway, honestly, because I don't trust that. So I'll probably put a new one on, but these are kind of scarce on an old board. So maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'll test it heavily, and if it doesn't crash or anything, I'll leave it on. But generally, here's the rule with corroded components. When when I consider a compo I mean, yes, like corrosion around it is one thing. But whenever you get, like, the pins that are brown or gray with the, the solder is actually gone from under, under, them, under them, replace that. Even if it works, replace it. You know, you, you'll get a pin that looks all brown and oxidized. You could probably clean up. But that tells me that chip probably took a lot of stress getting to that point. So replace it. But if the solder joints look good on it like this, then there's really no need to replace it. The chip is physically fine. But if anything looks like, let's see if we can find something that I would consider needing to be replaced. So, okay, so if it looks like this, see how that solder is kind of degraded like that? That needs to be replaced. That's not good. But if there was corrosion on something like this and the pin still looks like that, then the chip is probably fine. There's probably no need to replace it. Test it and, you know, go from there. So, like, if something looks like this, yes. Can you get away with touching it up with the iron? Yes. I don't trust it long term. Just replace it. So, let's put this in the oven to bake. Get rid of all that water. We'll see if this works. can also blast it out with my canned air. Then after, if there's any flux from replacing stuff, it'll probably also get ultrasonic again for just like a one or two minute aside per side, just to just to clear out any other corrosion. Tim, when you cut the MagSafe wires to attach power supply that leads them, does it matter which lead goes to which on MagSafe wire? Yes, there is a ground and a positive, so just like anything. The ground is like the shield. You'll see it. You you'll know it when you you'll know what's what when you open one. I'm curious if the freeway is open yet.
it kind of messes everything up because like if something flies in um, and yes it's still f closed now 14 north is open so that means that stuff will come to me that's good but the traffic is going to be insane no but the 5 is closed so that's not going to do me any good just because the 14 is 14 north is open it's closed like so this is what I'm looking at right here um, the reason why I'm doing this is there is packages that need to get to me but they can't get to me because the freeway is closed so like where like the hub is so here's Burbank Air Burbank right here this is where a lot of the um, the um, stuff is going to fly into right so USPS Express FedEx Express a lot of FedEx Express it's going to go up to 5 and up the 14 for right here but it can't because the 5 is closed now the 14 is open now but it can't that can't do any good if the 5 is closed because of fire so it has to come up here to this area so yeah that screws stuff up now if your package is coming from the, the rest of the US then it won't matter but anything I mean, if you're sending it FedEx ground, so if you're gonna thinking about sending something in right now, I mean, the now I should just keep my mouth shut because it's probably gonna be open by the end of the weekend. But at the meantime, anything that's flown in in the last day or two, a couple days is gonna sit down here because it has no way of getting up here. So, oh well, not my problem. No, nope, I can't control it. Rob is here. Need any MagSafe 2 cables or adapters? Not at this time. I have plenty. I have my charger, and the one thing I can do now is my phone goes dead. I can plug it into the MacBook charger. USB-C. I'm so out of touch with um, phones and stuff nowadays. I don't know if USB-C is a typical thing or what anymore. So... I'm just waiting on the board to bake and then uh, I'll test it. With any luck, I'll get a fan spin. And Anel hasn't kept his mouth shut, so I would say um, I would say that I have a pretty good chance of getting fan spin because Anel, uh, Anel kept his mouth shut. Is Anel still here? Looks like he's still here. Maybe not. Might as well go to sleep while I'm waiting for the board to dry. That would be nice if I can go to sleep. Aaron, didn't were you the one that sent me that uh, MagSafe 2 with the USB uh, with the um, amp meter on it? Because that thing is really cool. I don't know where it went though. It's somewhere probably in those drawers down there. I can't remember. I'm th pretty sure it was you. I can't remember last week, so or yesterday for that matter.
how long does a board take to dry is my question. Because I want to go home and I want to go to sleep. I don't know how people can do that, staying up till 2 a.m. or 3 a.m. doing stuff kind of thing. And like, I, I s hear stories of people my age that are out until 4 or 5 in the morning. Heck no, I could not do that without passing out. I'm tired by like 8, but still work until often midnight. Yeah, I don't get people my my own age. The board may not be dry all the way. It's burning hot though. Hot burning. Have to put it in the fume extractor to cool it down a bit. It's too hot to turn on. As a teenager, a bunch of us would get car CB radios and basically hide and seek. I have a CB radio. But no, my teenage years consist of fixing motherboards, fixing motherboards, and fixing motherboards. And fixing motherboards. Did I mention fixing motherboards? I didn't think I did. I fix motherboards. That's all I do. That's my purpose. <sighs> Will this turn on? If it turns on, I can leave. If it doesn't turn on, then I can't leave. No, I'll leave. Because I'm getting too tired. This was just a quick kind of mess with it, see if it'll turn on. So I can... I don't know. I don't know what the heck I'm talking about right now. What's this imager link? What did, What happened? <laughs> this is a fan will it become a spinning fan do we even get a green light green light and that is a spinning fan am I done with it no general cleanup replace a couple components and it is good to go the crest saved the night. So I'm going to go home. Thank you for watching.